gotta get up! The fire's coming. Are you ready for the fire? We are firemen! The heat doesn't bother us! We live in the heat! We train in the heat! And then we extinguish them! Got some money myself. What else you got? Not 10 G's though. <laughs> this is probably the biggest thing that's going on in the biggest story right now in MMA is Jorge Masvidal and Leon Edwards, their backstage scuffle. And it's <laughs> a lot of people are taking Jorge Masvidal's side because Leon of Edwards. Course. Yeah. Of course. Even though he's the one that did throw the first punch. Uh, here's the, here, the only thing about this is like with Masvidal, knowing his background, especially where he comes from, it's like if you're going to address the guy and you put your hands up, uh, it, it's just, I mean, you're looking for an altercation. And yeah, you're the one that actually said something first. You instigated it too. So do you want to watch the video? Sure. Yeah, Masvidal's right. chilling. He's like, wait, what'd you say? Say it to my face. Yeah. Comes over there and then it's kind of pieced him up. This is a little Jorge, bit of a longer one. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. You walked into that arena with a lot of booze. You walked out. I'll fast forward to here. Oh, I'm glad I got the recipe. Let's talk about that opening sequence. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> If you shot, hey, come over. He says, so he starts walking over to where his hands Leon behind was. his back, yeah. Though, too. Then he released him. He's like, What's up, bro? Boom, boom. <laughs> and they, they continue fighting here. No, that was pretty much it. But then you look at Leon Edwards' face Peace afterwards. So he's yelling right now, Leon. He, here's the thing, though. Same pussy. Who's yelling? Leon. He's saying you're done, little you're perk? You're dead or you're dead, little perk? Oh, yeah, that is his, that's his team member, not Leon. Here's the thing. Don't get in the guy's face and talk shit, though. Yeah. Be, because, because listen, with, with Masvidal, with, with Masvidal here, um, again, the UFC has posterized and, and highlighted and uh, romanticized, you know, these fighters talking shit and it being a WWE kind of entertainment thing. But then you get guys like uh, Nick, Nate Diaz, you get guys, uh, you know, like um, fucking Khabib, you get guys like Masvidal, who they, they don't, that's not what they signed up for. Where they come from, that's, if you're going to talk shit, they, they take it, it's real life. Yeah. And they take it to heart, and there's gonna be consequences. So for Leon, especially when a guy's doing an interview, like when a guy's do, had just had one of the biggest fights of his life. Also, it's Masvidal. He's a vet. He's an all-pro vet. Like show a little respect. So he's coming off this huge win. It's in you know it's in London. He's the underdog. He starches that guy. He's doing an interview. So you disrespect them, start talking shit, and now it's what's even more embarrassing. You end up talking shit. Now you get fucking socked in the eye. You got a cut under your eye. I like it how people uh, tweeted out, uh, Leon Edwards not pressing charges. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, can you imagine? Yeah, no <laughs> shit. Yeah, because he's not a raging pussy. Yeah. Uh, do I want to see the fight? I'd watch it. But I, I think Jorge Masvidal, um, I think there's there's bigger fish out to fry. Not that Leon, Leon Edwards isn't a fucking monster. Beat Don Cerrone and then just beat fucking Gunnar Nelson. You know he's a hell of a talent. But for Masvidal, you look at that division. There's some shit for him out there, man. Yeah. I mean, after doing that, Masvidal Askren sounds fun to me. Yeah. You want to see his response, Jorge? Yes. This is a lot of fun stuff that he says here. I'll just play the video. This is from ESPN MMA. I, I also, I think a lot of this stuff is the best thing to happen to Jorge Masvidal because as a casual, they probably don't know who he is yet. But he's been in the game for so long. He's a personality. He's so talented. He speaks well. Really he's well. He's bilingual. He's a family man. He's also a back from a backyard brawler with Kimbo Slice. There's a million sto stories to run yeah. with here. He's, a, he's awesome on camera. Here you go. So I'm doing my interview. This hooligan comes by. Hooligan. Stuff and July, get your ass kicked to July. July, and I go, maybe, bro, whatever. Because maybe I want to kick your ass in April. Maybe I don't want to wait till July. Maybe I don't even want to fight you in a prize ring because you're not worth a training camp. I'll just fight you here because you're a scrub, you know? So I tell him, just say it to my face. Like, man, you're saying it, walking away. That's not, like, we're both men, you know? And uh, as, I, as I'm walking up to him, I got my hands behind my back to signal I'm, I'm not coming here for problems. But he put his hands up like this. It's on video and he walks towards me. Well, where I'm from, if you do that, you're going to punch me in the face. And that's not going to happen. You're, <laughs> and, you're, you're JD Beta. You're, 
You are what you are. Bro. What do you call him? JV Beta? That's hilarious. How does anyone not make a JV Beta shirt? And just glide out of there, you know. And then some of his friends tried to sucker punch me. Those guys did a big mistake. He also said he had threw it with a three piece, Miles, a soda. And yeah, <laughs> three piece and a soda. Glided out of there. Miles, at all, please make a JV Beta shirt <laughs> with your fucking signature on it. That's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a good thing to happen for him. He's a great personality. Love yep. it. And a phenomenal fighter. Yes. What else you got? And this is Leon Edwards' final statement on that whole thing. Well, a lot of it was mostly him saying good stuff about Gunnar Nelson. But How the- bad does Leon Edwards look now, though? You talk shit, you got socked in the eye, yeah. cut on your eye, and now everyone loves Masvidal now. And the video of his, Leon's face is like, when you see him like looking around like, I can't believe this happened. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, bro. <laughs> you talk shit to a 305-er, man. Yeah. What would you think was going to happen? Jorge, fear play, stinking and shot him when you could, but now you're fucked. If security was there, you wouldn't have made it back to the U.S. I'll see you soon. All right. No, that's what it. Gonna, what were you going to do? Kill him? You wouldn't make it back to the U.S.? What are you going to do? Six feet under? <laughs> what are we doing? What are- the interview, this hooligan comes by saying some stuff. And, July, get your ass kicked to July. July, if I just fight you here because you're a scrub, you know? So, so I had to give him the three-piece with the soda and then just glide out of there, you know?